Hi guys, my name is Ni, nee and I'm going to show you how to buy cheap textbooks online. So the first thing you're going to need is an ISBN number. You can find this on the back of your textbook if you have a copy of it somehow by a friend or if you go to the, to the bookstore and maybe take a picture of it. But on the back or, in, or even on the inside cover of the book there is a 13 digit or a 10 digit number uh, just like these and either number will work. I actually don't have a textbook on hand so I, I went on Amazon and looked for just a simple calculus textbook and um, it's not a very popular one or people, maybe people just don't like calculus but here are the ISBN numbers uh, 10 digit and 13 digit and if, if you know if you're gonna look for books from Amazon you can search for your textbook name on Amazon you and there you might or might not find the exact one the ISBN number is basically the only way you're going to find the exact textbook. Otherwise, you might find a different edition or maybe just a similar textbook somehow. It, it's just safer to find the ISBN number. But if you are going to search on Amazon, um, the ISBN number might not always show under this book description, but it will always show if you scroll down in the product details. And as again, here's li li listed again uh, the 10 digit and 13 digit. and we're just going to use 10 digit. I'm going to copy and paste it into this other site here. This site is called DealOZ.com. And in the past, I've always used many different websites that I knew of to search for book deals, like Alibris and Textbooks R Us and Adal. And I don't know, there were so many. I think I used 10 every quarter. But eventually, it, I just started realizing that 90 to 95% of my searches. I mean, I found the cheaper books on here, and if I found a cheaper book elsewhere, it's only like a few bucks more. So it wasn't worth the effort and the time. So I just just recommending you that if you ever need to search for textbooks, this is the place, doz.com. Okay, so uh, copy and paste your ISBN number in, or just type it in if you have the book with you, and hit enter or click on the search button. It's going to tell you that it's searching 600 stores, 100,000 sellers to get you the best prices, which is true. It, it does a lot of searches, and that's why this is your all-in-one place. Now, when you get to this page here, uh, you're going to want to hit the total button. What this does is it sorts all of your options by the lowest total price. This is the price after shipping, so that's why this price and this price differs. Or actually, this is a special case so we'll talk about it later, but that's why this price and this price, you know, differs okay so that's also including the so plus shipping minus the, the coupons that are, are used to get you the total okay so what are your options when you have when you buy books online usually the ch the the two options that stand at the cheapest at the top are rentals and buy and return so renting this is actually becoming very very popular because most people don't need to keep the textbooks after they take the class, they're either gonna either just leave it on the bookshelf and w take up space, or they're gonna waste time trying to find it, someone to sell it back to, or selling it. And, and you know, if you sell it back to the bookstore, you're gonna get ripped off. So that's why you're always trying to find someone to sell it to. And either way, it's just too much effort, time, time or space. Um, so renting is a really go good option, unless you really do need to keep the book after the quarter. Perhaps it's a book that is in your major and you're gonna need to reference it back a lot so if that's the case don't don't use buy and return rent and rental options just uh, buy a new book or a used book so the, uh, so with rentals actually um, so what happens is that they, they send you the book and then at the end of a quarter which is 90 days or a semester 120 days and you get to choose which one how long you want to keep it when you rent it they're gonna ask you to ship it back and they're going to provide the shipping for you. You either print it out or it comes in the box that they send you at the beginning of the quarter. So it's it's really simple. Um, free shipping both ways. So really, the, the, all you're really paying is this price. And so I mean, we can go here for, as an example. Um, and you know, to, to get to get any of these options, you just click on on this these buttons here: buy and return or buy at store. And see, it's, you know, here you go. It asks you: you won't need it for a semester. Do you need it for the summer, so it's because summer quarter or shorter, or you need it for a quarter, which is about 90 days. Either way, it's a different price all the time. Um, and you know, and then you add the book to cart. You might need to 
you can click checkout. You might need to register or create an account, what not. Um, and you know, if you don't like sharing your information online, ask someone else to do it for you, or or just stick to the same place all the time when you go back to the system. I mean, these names show up all the time: Valor Books, Textbooks. dot com. So. So yeah, and then, of course, once you're done, you check it out. They send you an email confirmation, and then from there on, you just wait for the book to come. Pretty simple. And this is how you do it for all um, all your options. Okay. So the next one we're going to talk about is something called buy and return. So this this is something new. I've actually never used this before, um, but it seems pretty legit. I mean, I mean, it's being offered by Amazon. So you buy a book, and then they have this 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 policy that you can also you know I guess trade it back in or sell it back to them and I here we go so so after you you finish your book you ship it and they, they pay for shipping as well and then but then you get um, a gift card actually you don't actually get cash back you get a gift card for Amazon so that's something you might want to consider too by by using this option some other places that offer uh, buy and return such as this place over here textbooks.com they might or might not use gift card they actually might give you real cash back so something to consider but it's basically you're buying it at the full price right and then you send it back to them and then in the net result is that sorry I keep clicking around uh, the net result is that you're paying thirty three dollars and thirty cents which is which is awesome right it's, I mean compare this is the price you're paying and then this is like compared to this price, which is on sale apparently from Amazon, two hundred bucks versus thirty bucks, and that's like fifteen percent. You're paying fifteen percent of the price, or you're saving eighty-five percent of the price you, you would have to pay. Um, and of course, if you buy this in the bookstore, it's going to be m a little bit more expensive than, than this. Even usually, Amazon is cheaper than what they have in the bookstore. All right, so your next uh, cheap option. Um, it is kind of a tie. It depends on. on Depending on the book and what kind of options are available, but sometimes there's this thing called ebook right here, and what this is is basically you don't have an actual physical book in hand. It's something that you get to read on the computer, and you might or might not have to install a program on your computer in order to do it. And you might be able to keep it for ever or maybe for a certain amount of time. It really depends on on, on where you get it from and what kind of engine you use. Um, but it's for people for people who don't mind reading from monitor, right? And you might be able to get it to be able to read from any monitor, depending again on the software if it limits you to one computer. But it, it's a really cool option. It's you mean know, you don't it's less weight in your backpack and it's I mean basically your backpack is your laptop and you have like five ebooks on there that and that's pretty cool, right? It's definitely not a strain on your back. But again, some people like having the physical book, so this might not be an option for you. Now this next option, um, the next cheapest thing, and, and like I said, it's not cheapest right now, but usually, depending on where, ebook could be cheaper than this option. So, um, but here, this is something called an international edition book. And what international edition books are basically books that are printed outside the United States. And they're the exact same content, but the only difference is that they're in black and white, and they use soft cover instead of hard cover. So, I mean, being printed out of the United States means they can drive the price down a lot because it's just cheaper outside, I mean, in third world countries to do things than it is here. So, that's what you get for buying an international edition book. You get black and white and soft cover. Okay, so keep that in mind. And sometimes, and this is happen it happens very rarely, but sometimes, you know, those, those exercises or, you know, those homework exercises at the end of every chapter in a textbook, sometimes those might differ in international edition because they don't really care about that they care more about the actual chapter content but if your if your class if your teacher gives you assignments based on those exercises be careful okay I mean double check with someone first to make sure that your your homework numbers match with their homework numbers and if not I mean I don't think that's something that could just sway you away from buying international edition I really recommend international edition books it's it's basically 80% of what I used when I was in, in college and the other 20% was because there wasn't an international edition book for that, that specific book so if, if I could I would use 100% of the time but but anyway um, yeah if, if there aren't any homework exercises at the end of the book or the, the or the, the incorrect ones just 
make a photocopy from someone else's book or just ask your friends hey what number uh, what were the questions and then you just answer it you know it's I mean this is the price for red new book and this is <laughs> this is cheapest this is this is about a third of the price as again this is on sale so for a brand new book that you get to keep sorry I keep clicking that's really awesome right now the next two options are um, new and used books and so if you scroll down you, of course used is cheaper um, but actually actually okay so this used one is not really a used book I mean it is a used book but it's a buy and return of a used book that ends up being more expensive than a new book buy and return which is weird I don't I I, mean, I don't I've never done this buy and return thing so I I don't know the exact steps you you, you kind of have to go on, on your own self exploration to figure out how to do it but because you can get a new book and then return it and get more money back than you can for used books I definitely wouldn't you know consider this option but it's out there and usually this is not the case it's just for the special calculus book that this is again if you choose another another textbook you're kind of, kind of you're going to come up with different results for the or how these are ordered and what the prices are but yeah back to used book so here's a used book um you know 120 100 123 dollars it's it's not so bad right i mean compared to this yeah you're probably going to pay for a used book rather than buying that new brand new amazon book um th but the next thing i want you to look at is check out this one i mean this is a brand new book here from uh eight books is a pretty reputable company and for 90 bucks that's amazing you this doesn't usually happen it, it never happens that there's a, a new book that's cheaper than a used book but but apparently there is one and sometimes if you click on it and I don't know if there actually is sometimes it the information is outdated most times it isn't but what is this cash back thing okay I don't know what's going on it definitely de isn't showing me that cheaper price so maybe it is outdated maybe there was a I don't know so you make sure you click on this again I mean you're gonna click it anyway if you find the good deal that you like but click on it and make sure that it's the right thing <laughs> because in this case it wasn't it was a lie usually it isn't a lie but sometimes it is a lie so I mean again we're finding books at a really cheap price so there are gonna be some compromises um, but just fight through it and you'll save a lot of money so it's worth it so basically yeah that's all the different types of books if you're if you're set on, on looking for a specific option like rental by return or international book I would just go straight to this instead of just looking at all of them and then oh there's only one option on this cheap um, or you know if you only want you new real books <laughs> or not, I wouldn't say real books uh, US edition of books click on the new button and of course it'll sort it by and the price again and you're probably gonna want to look at the top one but this is again if you don't want all this clutter of looking at, at all different types of books click up here okay um, so the next thing we'll talk about is shipping uh, don't worry about the prices again they're all included in the total but I want what I want you to know is that most books that you order online it's gonna come within about up to two weeks usually and I mean even look at this this is about two weeks right but this I believe this might refer to business days so 14 business days is about three weeks okay so just be careful that whenever you order a book online always order at least two two um, weeks before your class starts and you know if your book doesn't happen to come in time that's okay you can borrow friends you can check out from the library or you know and I know at UW this is true I'm not sure about other campuses but there's well actually there sh it should be true at other campuses they, they always have a return policy if you go to the UW bookstore and you buy the book you, c you have two weeks to return it and get a full refund okay and this is only apl applying to books that are not in those film covers that you have, you have to rip apart. It's actually just books that are just out there. You can open and and you know and give back to them in the same exact condition. Okay, so if your books don't come on time, go to the bookstore, buy it, and then when your book comes, return it and get the re full refund. Okay, so you get to use your book for your class while waiting for your book to come. So again, that's what I recommend. But the, obviously, the best option is to always order ahead of time. And it's hard sometimes because your teachers might change their minds, and that's tricky, right? So, just a, a little warning. The next thing is uh, on some of these deals here, they they use coupons, and in order to use a coupon, I mean, you, once you're in the checkout, they're gonna ask for a promotion code or a coupon code, and you just enter this in. 
in this specific row, uh, the, your your coupon code you have to type in DOOZ, and and if you want to copy and paste, uh, apparently this is a picture, and then when you bring it over here, it disappears. So if you click on it, um, it'll show you all the coupons that it knows about that that specific vendor, uh, that specific website, and usually the highlighted one is the one that they want you to use for that specific book. So again, here you go. You can copy this, right? And go back and then go to checkout and paste it in. So, yeah, and of course, I mean, this is really awesome because normally you wouldn't know about that these coupons existed, and you won't be getting the best price for your books if you went to this place directly, like Amazon Marketplace, right? Um, the next thing is that the store themselves try to buy from stores that I mean, a Libris is actually pretty reputable too. I don't know why it only has three stars, um, but. I mean, like for this one's two stars, I would be a little iffy. Don't, don't, don't go less than three stars, okay? From a place, and there's a reason why they don't they don't have that high rating. So be careful of that. And of course, the total. Um, so most of the times that you buy things online, you don't have to pay tax, unless that business is located in your state and or or it op, or it has you know a local presence, like a local store. A physical store in your state. So, so most of these, these, this price that you see, that's it. This is including shipping and no tax. Okay. Um, the one thing that I do know that has tax is for sure. I mean, there could be other places because I, I obviously haven't visited every website, and I don't know what what um, what books operate in Washington State, but Amazon definitely. Washington State is its headquarters, and it sells here. So. You order from here. I mean, if you, if you look at this price, you click on this. It's actually the same as um, what we were looking at over here, right? Same thing. I'm switching back and forth. You can't really see it because I, I kind of hit that, but it's the same thing, right? So if you buy from here, straight from Amazon, you're gonna need to pay tax. So that's another like 20 bucks. Okay, about 20 bucks. I'm, I'm exaggerating, but 18 bucks. Okay. So be be aware of that. Um, I never, and but up here even though this is Amazon is actually something called Amazon marketplace this means that you're buying it from another person or another you know little business that's it's selling under Amazon so you usually don't have to pay tax on this so just be careful on that as well um, and remember that you know if you buy things from Amazon this is not the full price you're gonna need to pay tax on it and that's I think that's all I can think of I mean that's how you save money I always have at least 50% every quarter sometimes up to like 89 percent by buying books online and this is my system for doing it uh, oh uh, one thing actually sometimes you enter a number I see a number here and it doesn't show up <laughs> so either you typed it in wrong or that book is too new and a lot of stores don't carry it or it's a custom book a lot of universities and colleges use custom books because I believe the teacher or something or the teacher has something with the the um, author of the book, and that they always want to use the latest editions. And people, I mean, when people release a new edition, there isn't that many changes. They release it so that they can charge more and get people to pay more, and so that people can't find a used book for it, so they have to buy the new book. Um, it's a really big, cheap system. I mean, not a cheap system, but it's a really elaborate system for people for publishers to get more money. So um, that's not cool. <laughs> But you kind of have to deal with it. If it's a custom book, I think the only place you can buy it is at the at the university bookstore. I'm sorry, but for most books, and you know, if you have a nice teacher that knows about these the scheme and doesn't want to be a part of it, he'll assign you an older edition of the book, and you can probably find out here. All right. So that's that for finding books online, and good luck, and have fun saving money. That's it.